In this lesson, we're going to solve and graph compound inequalities, meaning inequalities that contain an and or an or. Example one, we're going to write and graph a compound inequality. So first we're going to translate the verbal phrase into an inequality. All real numbers that are greater than negative two and less than three. So to write this as an inequality with the word and in it, that would look like this. So x is greater than negative two and x is less than three, which could be together written with x in the middle between two inequality symbols as negative two is less than x, which is less than three. All right, now let's graph this. On our number line, we know that x is greater than negative two, and that would mean I have an open circle at negative two, and I go to the right direction. But then I also know that x is less than three. So in this case, I would draw an open circle at three, and I would go to the left. The answer, or the graph to this actual compound inequality, is where the two overlap each other. So the graph of this actually is just an open circle at both numbers, and you just shade in between them. Next, we want to translate all real numbers that are less than zero or greater than or equal to two. So this word or is going to be giving us a different inequality than the and. With the word or, we can't combine the inequality the way we did with that first one in part A. We just write them separately with the word or in between. And then to graph this, we make an open circle at zero, and we know we go to the left because it's everything less than zero. And then since x is greater than or equal to two, we're gonna do a closed circle at two, and then it's everything greater than, so we go to the right. That's our graph. All right, for these two practice problems, I want you to pause the video, try to write the inequality and graph it on your own and then check the solution. X is less than negative one, which means we have an open circle at negative one and our arrow goes to the left, or X could be greater than or equal to four, which means we have a closed circle at four and our arrow goes to the right. Since X is greater than or equal to negative three and less than five, we can combine that into the inequality negative three is less than or equal to x, which is less than five. Graphing that, we have a closed circle at negative three going greater than x, so to the right, and then an open circle at five less than, and then we know that those connect in the middle, that's where they overlap, so this would be your graph. Sorry if there's any confusion about where example two went mysteriously. We're just jumping right to example three. Example two that I had was very similar to example one. So we're jumping ahead to example three. How to solve a compound inequality with and. In order to solve two is less than x plus five, which is less than nine, we have a couple of steps to follow. First, we're going to separate this compound inequality into two different inequalities. Not different, but separate. We're going to separate it into two inequalities. Next, we're going to solve each inequality separately. So in doing step one, we have two is less than x plus five, and we also have x plus five is less than nine. Now to solve each of these separately, we're gonna subtract five from both sides. And when you subtract five from both sides, on the left inequality, we get negative three is less than x, 
And on the right inequality, when we subtract 5, we get x is less than 4. This compound inequality can be written as negative 3 is less than x, which is less than 4. The solutions are all real numbers greater than negative 3 and, so we're using that word and, less than 4. In drawing our graph, we would put an open circle at negative 3, and we would put an open circle at 4, and we know it's everything greater than negative 3, and it's everything less than 4. So this is the graph of this compound inequality. Try these next couple of examples on your own as practice, pause the video, and then check back for the solutions. This inequality, when solved, gives us negative 2 is less than x, which is less than 9. And graphed, we have an open circle at negative 2, an open circle at 9, and the graph falls between those two. For this one, we get 3 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 10. So our graph would be a closed circle at 3, a closed circle at 10, and it would fall between the two. That's where they would overlap. This next example is already worked out for you, but I want to talk you through it. We could solve this just like we did in the last example by separating the inequalities, solving them, and simplifying. Um, but just to take a look at how this could be broken down without separating the inequalities, here's how this would look. So first, you want to get the x all by itself in the middle. So in order to do that, just like you would with an equation, we're going to remove or get rid of anything that's basically blocking us from getting x alone, which is this minus 3. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides, or actually to all sides, I guess you can say, of these expressions. So when I add 3 to everything, I got rid of the 3 in the middle. And now I have negative 2 is less than or equal to negative x, which is less than or equal to 5. But I don't want negative x. I want positive x. So if I multiply each side by negative 1, that's going to get rid of the negative sign with the x. But remember, when you multiply by a negative, you have to reverse the symbol. So when I multiply by that negative 1, I get 2 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than or equal to negative 5. But this doesn't quite look right. We don't like to write the x in the middle with greater than symbols. We need to write it in the other direction with less than symbols. So rewriting this in this format with the less than symbols going from left to right, we're going to switch everything around. And now we have negative 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2. So here's your solution. To graph this, we have a closed circle at negative 5 and a closed circle at 2, and it's everything that falls between them. All right, last example. We're going to solve a compound inequality with an or now. So very similar to solving the and compound inequalities, we should rewrite the original, and we have 2x plus 3 is less than 9, or 3x minus 6 is greater than 12. And what we're going to do is solve these separately. By doing addition or subtraction, I end up with 2x is less than 6, or 3x is greater than 18. So over here, I simply subtracted 3 from both sides. Over here, I added 6 to both sides. Next, we're going to have to do some multiplication or division to get x alone for both of these inequalities. For each of these, I'm going to have to divide to get x alone. So dividing by 2 
on this side gives me x is less than 3, or dividing both sides by 3 here, x is greater than 6. Okay, so now that we've simplified, we want to just put this inequality into a graph. So we would do an open circle at 3, and we would go to the left because x is less than 3. Or, notice there's a separation here, we're going to put an open circle at 6, and we're going to go to the right because x is greater than 6. Finally, I'd like you to try the next couple of practice problems on your own, so pause the video, work them out, and then check your solutions. The answer to guided practice number 5 and the answer to guided practice number six. H is less than negative two, or H is greater than six. So open circle at negative two, and we're going less than, so to the left. H is greater than six, open circle at six, and we're going to the right. That is the end of this video lesson on solving and graphing compound inequalities.